The average Angel Reese game is 10,100, 10,200. They come to watch her. You know what the average attendance is when Caitlin Clark plays home or the road? What? 15,300. Wow. Okay. 15,300. Right there. Look at this. Caitlin Clark gets 15,591 fans in attendance, 105% increase compared to the average game is 7645. And to Angel Reese, it's only 10,000 people is what the contract is. Okay. This is WNBA is paying Caitlin Clark $28 million. Good for free. LeBron James and Caitlin Clark both transformed their leagues as rookies, but their receptions differed. LeBron was widely embraced, while Clark's impact has been met with resistance from some of the NBA players. The reasons behind this pushback might surprise you. I saw for the first time that they had, they had a chartered plane for the first time in their league history. You know, they flew private. That should be celebrated in his own right. Caitlin Clark is the reason why a lot of great things is going to happen for the WNBA. Um, but for her individually, I don't think she should get involved on nothing that's being said. Caitlin Clark's record-breaking game sent shockwaves through the WNBA. Attendance and viewership soared to new heights, igniting a surge of interest in women's basketball. It's as if she flipped the switch, captivating a whole new audience. But here's the fascinating part. Not all WNBA players are celebrating this newfound attention. The mixed reactions make for a compelling story. First take yesterday, upset with the fact that Stephen A. Smith hasn't been talking about WNBA enough for the last few years, and she's calling him out, and it got pretty nasty. Rob, I'm going to text this to you. Play, you have this? Go ahead and play this clip. Go for it. We're talking about them maximizing their great potential. And because we bring that up and talk about what potentially might get in their way, which we do to men all the time, now we got to sit up here and watch every syllable. I resent that. We are still talking about competition where you are allowed to get a little extra elbow in no. if you are competing and you do it within the parameters of the game. <laughs> the game is physical. Caitlin is helping to grow the league. These women understand that, but she cannot be babied as a rookie. That's all I'm at. She's talking all that trash. Could you imagine if if it was reverse oh racist? If that was a white girl. Oh, that white supremacy. You'd think uh, the NBA players would be thrilled about Clark's success, but it's not that straightforward. Her rise to fame is stirring up drama, with some players giving her the cold shoulder. The league is scrambling to navigate this rookie sensation. Curious about what's really happening behind the scenes? Let's dive in and explore the intriguing dynamics at play. Face a level of racism from black players, and she's going to face a level of hostility from lesbian players because she's oh. not on team LGBTQ. <laughs> she's a Catholic, she's got some boyfriend. She's going to walk into a extremely hostile environment. And so when it was Tiger Woods walking into a hostile environment of the PGA Tour, we talked about it, we covered it, we, we covered it sympathetically, we, we criticized the people that were against Tiger Woods. As it relates to uh, Caitlin Clark, who could come and make the WNBA. Let's crunch some numbers. Caitlin Clark's stats are simply astonishing. But what's even more surprising is the stir they're causing in the WNBA. It's not just about her impressive points tally. It's about the implications for women's basketball. So let's dive into the details. Clark's shooting percentage is staggering. 62.7% from within 5T, making her the top guard in two-point field goal percentage. That's not just good. That's elite level efficiency. It's not just her shooting that's grabbing attention. Stan, they figured out each other. Caitlin Clark talked about it after the game. She said, we're finally understanding each other. The best dynamic duo right now has been Caitlin Clark and Kelsey Mitchell. Coming out of this Olympic break, watching those two play off of each other. They look rested. Kelsey Mitchell has been on fire. Caitlin, Caitlin Clark's playmaking is redefining the WNBA record books. She shattered the rookie assist record with a mind-boggling 232 assists. Imagine the impact on her team. It's like she has a sixth sense, finding teammates for easy baskets with ease. But here's the fascinating part. Clark's style of play isn't just impressive. It's revolutionary. She's drawing comparisons to NBA legends like Jason Kidd, Steve Nash, and Steph Curry, the most versatile and game-changing players in basketball history. Clark's exceptional court vision, control, and long-range shooting put her in a lead of her own. The hype is real, and for good reason.
and Angel break these rookie records has been phenomenal. But when it comes to Indiana and Chicago, Indiana is the more complete and together basketball team on both sides of the ball, which makes them a dangerous team in the playoffs. Chicago still fighting to hold on to that playoff spot. You might be wondering, how does Clark's talent impact the league? Buckle up, because the Caitlin Clark effect is real and it's phenomenal. Her presence is drawing in record crowds like the Atlanta Dream's historic 7,576 fans, the largest ever in Georgia. This isn't a one-off, it's a movement. The Indiana Fever, Clark's team, has become the hottest ticket in town. Last season, they had just one nationally televised game. This season, a hopping 36 out of 40 games will be broadcast nationwide. That's a staggering turnaround, all thanks to Clark's electrifying play. This is a phenomenon. Caitlin Clark is a phenomenon. And if I said to any of these people who think Caitlin Clark is not the rookie of the year, I'd say, who would you want to start your franchise with? Now, I'm not going to put Asia Wilson in there. I'm just saying between these two. Angel Reese is a wonderful player, but she does not compare to what and who Caitlin Clark is. Let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Caitlin Clark's impact is revolutionizing women's basketball, transcending numbers and TV deals. Her games are becoming must-see events, attracting millions of fans. 2.2 million viewers for a single game, a historic caveat NBA milestone. It's not just about the numbers, it's about the level of play. Clark's incredible shooting range is redefining what's possible in the women's game. She's making shots from distances previously considered impossible, like she's playing on a different court altogether. Clark's talent is shattering expectations and inspiring a new generation of fans and players. The history of the WNBA as uh, she's now going to try to set the all-timer. Caitlin Clark's impact is seismic, transforming the women's basketball landscape. She is not just a player, but a phenomenon, pushing boundaries with every record broken and crowd drawn. You'd expect the lead to be celebrating, but here's the twist. Her success is causing drama. Clark's explosive entrance has left some players feeling overshadowed, creating a rift in the WNBA community. Fellow player Angel Reese spoke out, saying, We're watching women's basketball because of me too. Not just one person. The tension is palpable. It's clear that Clark's rise to fame has stirred up complex emotions, and it's time to explore the intriguing dynamics at play. To the WNBA, which nobody nobody was talking about the WNBA just in a joking manner. She has made the WNBA and they hate it. What's the girl, PBD? The the number one draft? The, of last year was it last year Angel Reese. Reese Angel Reese was talking crap about her she's like it's not just her mm. what about me some championship game and I've been dealing with this for two years now and understanding like yeah negative things have probably been said about me but honestly I'll take that because look where women's basketball is people are talking about women's basketball but you never would think that we'd be talking about women's basketball people are pulling up to games we got celebrities coming to games sold out arenas like just because of one single game and just looking at that, like, I'll take that role. I'll take the bad guy role, and I'll continue to take that on and be that for, the, for my teammates. And if I want to be that, and I know I'll go down to history, I'll look back in 20 years and be like, yeah, the reason why we watch women's basketball is not just because of one person. It's because of me, too. And I want Sin embargo, no si trata solo de sentimientos perdidos. El estilo bijueva de Clark es tan abrasivo, clitoralmente esto, sacudiendo las cosas, en la cancha. Recurtis es a vez corresibio una falta técnica por golpear la canasta en frustración. La mayoría de los jugadores se desanimarían, pero no Clark. De Heco, le agradeció al arbitro, diciendo lo motivo a jugar con más intensidad. Es espíritu competitivo es lo que está causando olas en la liga. Company, this corporation called the WNBA, is not profitable. They don't make money. They've never made money. They're fully subsidized by their daddy. And I get like they're 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 shoving Caitlin Clark down people's throats because she's a cash cow. Great. They're gonna market the hell out of this white chick. That's whatever she is, she puts the ball in the Now you might be wondering, is this just about basketball or is there something more profound at play? Turns out, this debate taps into sensitive issues of race and gender in sports. Some say the backlash against Clark is just jealousy, while others believe it reflects deeper societal problems. So, what's really going on? Is Clark's rise good or bad for the WNBA? Well, it's complicated. On one hand, 
players like Angel Reese feel overlooked after years of hard work. Only to have a rookie steal the spotlight. You can understand why that might hurt. But on the other hand, Clark's success is bringing attention and excitement to the league like never before. It's a nuanced issue, and we're about to dive into the fascinating details. And I think she is she is going to literally turn this thing around, not because of the stupid controversial yeah. bump, but bro, people are selling, they're selling out to watch this girl play. On the flip side, many see Clark as a game changer who can elevate the entire league. Her superstardom is attracting unprecedented attention, fans, TV deals, and revenue. A potential win-win for everyone involved. And here's where it gets fascinating. This tension is sparking crucial conversations about equity and representation in women's sports. People are asking tough but necessary questions. Who deserves the spotlight and why? It's a moment of reckoning and the answers could have far-reaching implications for the future of women's basketball. It's the fact that there's some lift that's coming here. So Caitlin Clark's rise is a game changer for women's basketball. She's capturing attention like never before, forcing a rethink of the sport. Clark's impact goes beyond the court transforming the conversation around women's athletics. A groundbreaking moment with lasting effects. Curious about, mm -hmm. which you said when we had the conversation a couple months ago. Guys, she's going to make nothing. She's going to make the minimum wage. Great. Why? She makes $73,000 right. a year, but, but her contract but from it, Nike. But it's going to change. It's going to change because they had more people go to a Los Angeles Sparks game mm. this year than the Lakers. There was more people attending a Sparks game this year than Lakers. Did you hear about this? I, but when you get people butts and seats, yeah. pay, 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 pay for people changes, cash flow changes. So your The WNBA's rapid transformation isn't without its challenges. Some players feel left behind and that's a valid concern. The key is to celebrate Clark's success without overshadowing others. Just as an internal crisis seemed to be brewing, a surprising twist emerged. The drama surrounding Clark might be the league's unlikely savior. The WNBA's financial struggles are real, with annual losses of $50 million. But Clark's impact could be the game changer the league needs. Is it possible that this controversy is actually a blessing in disguise? Let's explore how conflict might be turning into the WNBA's biggest opportunity yet. Win a tournament. And so people need to see, I think history is repeating itself, and Caitlin Clark could be raising the tide and lifting all boats. And I think Angel Reese needs to, to take a pill uh, because there is a great opportunity here, and I think jealousy is... Uh, rain Let's crunch some numbers. Caitlin Clark is a phenomenon drawing record-breaking crowds like the 7,576 fans who showed up for the Atlanta Dream Game. That's not just a big number. It's a movement. Her popularity is translating into serious revenue for the league, from ticket sales to corporate partnerships. The Indiana Fever has seen a staggering 225% increase. But here's the fascinating part. Clark's success is putting the spotlight on the entire league, revealing some uncomfortable truths about player salaries. She's not just earning big bucks for herself. She's shining a light on the value of all the NBA players. It's time to explore the ripple effects of Clark's impact and what it means for the future of women's basketball. I, I think, um, I, I don't think the WNBA is ready for this type of attention that, that she's bringing to them. That attitude, there was another player that was crying after a regular season game. And you said the R word, Tom. I don't know why you were sh like blocking it racism everybody's talking about all oh, like stephen a smith stephen a smith which we'll get into pat after we go he's just going on on these panels and going you know what first he's bashing trump and then he goes into caitlin clark and she's <clears throat> everything about her is white and he's going on these anti-white race uh things about her and how black personalities would be more successful if they were white it's unattractive it's it's making this victim go ahead, late. lady and she's been a magnet in a way that has benefited the league in ways that others have not, even though their efforts have been worthy and deserving of being as celebrated, if not even more celebrated. And it's a reminder that no matter how far we believe that we have advanced as a society, <sighs> there's still such a long way to go. Because in the end, well, look, look, this white, guy's embarrassing, bro. You're bright, uh, yeah, you're look, bright listen. and as a result, the shine comes your way in the eyes of a lot of people. Caitlin Clark spoke about the need for better pay in the WNBA, and the numbers back her up. Her rookie salary is just $76,000, but her endorsement deals? Millions. 
This huge gap has people talking about the value of women's sports. But here's the exciting part. Clark's success isn't just highlighting the problem, it's paving the way for a solution. With more attention, fans, sponsors, and TV deals, the WNBA might finally have the resources to increase player salaries. And speaking of TV deals, the Indiana Fever's gone from one nationally televised game to 36 out of 40. Clark's popularity is lifting the entire league, creating a ripple effect that benefits everyone. More eyes on games mean more advertising dollars, merchandise sales, and growth opportunities. Now, about that tension. Yes, some players feel overlooked, but all this drama is keeping the WNBA in the headlines. And in sports, there's no such thing as bad publicity. The spotlight's shining bright, and it's time to see how the WNBA will use this momentum to create lasting change. Enough with the racist BS. She's nasty. She knows how to ball. Everybody else is jealous. They're pissed off because you're getting this like, it, it, it's, it's ridiculous. And we're never going to advance as a species and we're never, if he keeps having that type of attitude. It, it, it's ridiculous. It's like, what? Everything has to go back to race. Everything has to keep going back to race. She's real. The buzz around women's basketball is undeniable. Controversy, record-breaking performances, and packed arenas are creating a perfect storm of attention for the Dalia NBA and attention is the first step towards real, lasting change. While financial struggles still exist, there's a sense of optimism about the league's future that we haven't seen in a long time. As one insider put it, the league couldn't be in a more exciting place right now. Caitlin Clark's arrival shook things up, and now the WNBA is hotter than ever. But here's the wildest part. All that drama is actually propelling the league forward. More fans, more money, more attention. It's like Clark lit a fire under the entire sport, pushing women's basketball to new heights. And look, Angel Reese, there, there's nothing that she does where you go, did you see her? Other than she plays really, really hard, and I liken her game to Moses Malone. Moses Malone was relentless. So it's not that I don't appreciate who she is or how she plays. There is no one, no one like Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark's impact goes far beyond the court. She's transforming the entire conversation around women's sports. When was the last time women's basketball generated this much buzz? And it's not just talk. Clark's $28 million Nike deal is a game changer. So here's the million dollar question. Is Clark just changing the game or is she rewriting the rules for what's possible in women's sports? Are we ready for this revolution? Clark's success is challenging the status quo and pushing the boundaries of what's possible for women in sports. Buckle up because this is just the beginning of a thrilling new chapter in women's athletics.